Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 10th of April. A uh, bit of a scrappy day in the markets yesterday. Futures seem positive as I'm making this video during the European morning. So US futures looking reasonably positive. So looking for a long, I've gone for Wendy's actually, W-E-N, on the 60 minute time frame. So I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. Also available for Ninja Trader TradeStation and multi charts and very soon the mt4 platform so let's have a just this is an intraday chart 60 minute chart on wendy's and we, as we can see we've had a really good bullish run here over the last couple of weeks or so from the lows and we've had a big impulse wave on the way three there uh, and our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite automatically labels these uh, live as things go. But the most important thing right now is we'll, we're interested in this Wave 4 pullback. This is profit taken over the last three trading days, pretty much like the markets have behaved really. But we're looking for support there now. So let's have a look at, first of all, this Wave 4 pullback. It's just found support in our green probability zone. So that's an 85% probability. If we find support in this green zone, that we're going to go on, make that new Wave 5 high into our automated target zones there, around about 1864, is roughly in the middle of our target zone. The next, we look at the performance of this Wave 4, because this is important. How does it, how does it behave? So the first thing is our Elliott Wave Oscillator. That pulls back between 90 and 140% during this Wave 4. And it has done. And it started to crown as well. So really good looking uh, Wave 4 there. The next is we look at the Wave 4 pullback as far as our special stochastic goes. It's our false breakout stochastic. You can see on the yellow lines here at the top on the overbought zone. This, is a, this denotes a really strong bullish trend. Then when we get a Wave 4 pullback, that pulls back against there. It's like an elastic band. It crosses over in our oversold zone and it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So everything's setting up pretty good. Also, I've got my multiple time frame dark cloud here, which is part of our black box breakout indicator. But this shows you on multiple time frames all the way down to weekly that we are biased bullish here and we can just see this pullback in the dark clouds going uh, into the cloud or even just below the cloud on this current 60 minute time frame then coming back in again what we're looking for is those to go all green with the green square again that gives us a really strong probability that we're back in that main bullish trend so entry wise i've gone very conservative with this we could go very aggressive coming outside of the 6-4 moving average high for the first hour bar position just over 18 dollars there so that's an aggressive entry but for me i just want to make sure it's moving away from this wave four properly i've got a decent risk reward into that target zone so i just don't want to push it i want to look at these resistance levels as well on this left hand side let's just draw those in these are important I don't want to get mixed up in all of this resistance here. So then I want to make sure uh, I'm out of this danger zone, if you like. So getting an aggressive into that resistance zone is not a sensible entry strategy. The entry strategy I've gone for is above all of this noise. 1816 is my entry. The stop loss just below the wave four lower at 1786 and the target 1864 in the middle of that target zone still gives you a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into that target zone. Great risk reward, sensible entry, making sure we're through this resistance level. Who knows what's going to happen today? It's a 60 minute time frame. It can be quite volatile at the beginning of the session, um, but we just need to give it that little extra space there. Looking positive on the futures at the moment. So looking like a pretty good trade. If it can push through this resistance level, we've got a good looking fifth wave move. Oh, so, okay, so that's it for today. Have a great training day. Speak to you all tomorrow.